Right, so. Irvin Bullock says her home in the Volano Beach area is standing after Irma because of her new seawall. I think the seawall saved us. She and her husband did not have one when Hurricane Matthew struck, and this is what the storm did to their home then. It ate away their yard and right up underneath their home. Bullock says she, like many people, did not want to get a seawall. No, we didn't want one. Oh, really? We didn't want one, but you just kind of had to do it. She points to the beachfront homes that did well during Irma, and they have seawalls. And the houses without seawalls, especially if they were next to a house with a seawall, did not do well at all, like our neighbor. Irma ate away his entire yard up to his house. His yard used to extend to where Bullock's right, seawall so is. Now, our neighbor came down Saturday, and he's decided to build a seawall, and we're thrilled because that protects us, him, and the, and the neighbor south of him. When a seawall goes up, it can mean more damage to property next to it without a wall. A house that toppled into the ocean did not have a seawall. But the house right next to it had a very strong seawall. And so when you and then the waves come in, they got to go somewhere. They hit that seawall. They just keep pushing in into where there isn't a seawall. And they they just carved him out and he just fell in. Yeah. Bullock Seawall is permanent, it's strong, it's sturdy, but look right next door at one of her neighbors. They have a temporary seawall, but still it was not enough to keep the storm waters from damaging the underside of the home. While Bullock wishes her beach did not have so many seawalls, she says it's now necessary. Once you get this many seawalls, I don't think you can survive if you don't have one. Yeah. Not with the storms we've been having. In St. John's County, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.